the MTN 10 o'clock news. Welcome back to the 10 o'clock news. Well, the first day of school in Great Falls is just a week away. And today, the Great Falls Public Schools Board of Trustees called a special meeting to consider the budget for the upcoming school year. MTN Zach Shermley was there. School boards in Montana are required to meet and finalize their budgets by no later than August 20th every year. GFPS Board of Trustees just making the deadline, voting to consider a budget to fund a year unlike any other. Initial projections put the budget at over $70 million, but the final number will be released next Monday, when the board officially adopts the measure. Nationwide, most U.S. school districts get an average of 47% of funding from the state, about 45% locally, and only about 8 to 10% from the federal government, according to the National Center for Education Statistics. In Great Falls, about half of the money in the district comes from the state, with over a third coming from the district and county, about 50% of money in the general fund going toward instruction. For me as business manager, there are moving parts from year to year. Late February was when Patrick first presented the budget, but that was before the pandemic hit and forced most schools to pivot to online learning. Patrick says one big change this year has been the role of federal funding. Those dollars are really what we need and are using to address things like our Jumpstart program that we did at the elementary school before school started this year, as well as all the PPE and safety precautions that we're taking. The district receiving $2.38 million in CARES Act funding from the federal government in March, but that wasn't all the help it got. We got an additional allocation of funds from the governor, uh, state money that he had jurisdiction over, and he allocated another $4.9 million to our school district. It's been uh, an absolute necessity for us to have those kinds of funds so that we can start school. Moore says a number of factors have complicated the budget this year. Some of the challenges had to do with the protest, protested taxes from Calumet, and um, that was a complicating variable in the already complicated um, equation of school budgeting. So uh, Mr. Patrick's done a great job. In Great Falls, Zach Shermley, MTN News.